Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Our House 21 and the time has finally come. So I've been beating the snot out of these Proline Dirt Hog tires for almost three years now. And it's finally got to the point where I literally just blew out the tread. So I ran these things down to the nubs. So that's a good thing. I got a lot of good use out of them. Thing is, since these start off on Slade and now moved on to Scratch as the Hardcore Basher tires, they have not been completely damage free. So you see this guy right here, this guy right here has actually you know, got a cracked rim. But for the type of running that I do with this car, you know, that's not that big a deal. So I'm about to do the baking tire removal method. So I can go ahead and pull these guys off and put some new rubber on. The problem with the baking method for at least my, this application is that you know one of my three rims here is actually held together by glue. So just as a quick backup, or just as a quick background, the way the baking method works is you're actually getting the tires up to a to a temperature that the super glue or the the wheel glue, tire glue, whatever you want to call it, the adhesive that makes these wheels stick actually breaks down over a certain temperature. So the magic is getting these tires and wheels up to the temperature where the glue will break down, but the actual um, plastic and the rubber is unharmed. The wrinkle with this is because these are being held, or this one is being held together largely by glue. I'm gonna have to go back and probably epoxy this guy next time, get a good repair in, and then I can mount new wheels. Now over here, these two, these are also dirt hogs, but I got a box of tires or a box of spare parts off eBay a little while ago. And these were in there and they're actually pretty decent. The problem is if you look at these thread or these treads, these things have been butchered. I don't know what happened with them, but they've been butchered. So Kyle and I just basically just kept gluing them every time they blew out and just pushing them back together. But now I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull the rubber off and put new foam and tires on here and get these guys back up to snuff. So there's a little bit of restoration. But the reason I'm going with the baking method is because, I mean, you guys have seen the boiling method and you guys have seen the solvent method. The problem with the solving method and the boiling method is that wheels like this to have a nice finish on them, that destroys it. It just, you know, it just it pulls off that, um, that chrome finish and they end up looking really bad. How do I know? Well, experience. So with the baking method, it's at least from the videos I've seen, and I didn't come up with this. There have been other videos, Bashers United, Lamont, he did one. So I'll put a link to his video and also a link to the video that he cited. I think he came from Don Donuts. I think I hope I'm saying that right. But I'll link to both of those guys so you can see how they originally did it. But this is how I'm gonna do it. Okay guys, so right here, one unique wrinkle is I've got a convection oven. I'm fancy. So I'm using convection bake to go ahead. And for those who don't know, a convection oven is just like a regular oven, but it has a fan inside that blows air around. That helps to get faster heating, which actually helps food cook faster. In this case, it should help me to get a more complete, um, or, or it should help me to get up the temperature and break down this glue better. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys in for half an hour and I'll check back after the fact and we'll see how easily this rubber comes off of the wheels. Okay guys, so cooking is complete. That big tires. Yep, so I have my camera girl Robin here to help me out. So Robin, I'm gonna hand you the camera. We're wearing gloves so we don't get burned. All right, so I actually let them sit in the oven a little bit after cooking concluded. So. We're going to do this. Ooh, yummy. These are going to taste delicious on the car. Okay, so now they've been baked. So let's see. Yeah, voila. Let me, wait, can I feel it? Yeah, they're, they're pretty hot. My hey, I'm not being burned. Because you're wearing gloves, but you can't. Hold them nice, nice and loose. But see right here, the glue just comes right off. I can't see the glue. Well, yeah, because the glue's been basically dissolved by the heat. Cool. So let me go ahead and fill these guys away. What are you, why are you doing that? Well, I'm doing this because these tires 
So you see, these tires have been burned out. They're all done. Oh so, no, what happened to that guy? He wore out. It's okay, I got plenty of good use out of it. Rest in peace, tires. I'll start making a tombstone for them. Okay, Robin, thank you. Alright, so now, this one right here was one I was worried about because this tire was actually held together with a lot of glue because it's been cracked. This happened in one of my first wrecks. So I could have just bought a new rim, but I'm cheap. So I figured I'd try to reuse it. Why are you so cheap, Daddy? Sometimes it, sometimes you can't be cheap with some things. I know, that's true. But sometimes I can't. Alright, so, actually this one's not in too terrible condition, so I'm going to be able to re-glue it and keep using it well, for Well, Daddy, bashing. what are these parts? Hmm? What are these parts? Well, these are wheels. Rims. Rims? Yep. Wheels. What's the rims for? They connect to the car. Wait, let me guess. So, does these, um... I hold on to the soft part of the tires so that they have a smoother run. Exactly. Yay, so, I'm so smart. So on real cars and on RC cars, the wheels, they are what, they, they create the friction that holds you to the ground, but then they also absorb bumps. They do? Yep. So they're soft, well the rim is hard, but the tire itself is nice and soft and that helps to push Can in Can I feel the it? <laughs> boing, boing. <laughs> Okay. All right. I could almost feel some of the heat. Oh yeah. Uh, so these have a little bit of water inside the wheels. Where is? Did the water dissolve? No. So if the water. Then where's the water at? There's a little bit of water inside of it, so it made steam. So so these feel kind of warm, but it's Ooh. okay. Can I take on my glove to feel it? Uh, but probably should keep your gloves on. Oh now yeah, the, I don't want to get burned. Now the other thing to keep in mind, Lamont mentioned this on his tire baking video. This process stinks. And what I mean by that is... Hey, Daddy, try to keep this kid friendly, will ya? It smells. It smells really, really bad. I can't smell anything on camera. Wait a second, let me try to smell. I can't smell anything. Well, Does it smell when the baking is going on? It smells. I don't smell it. Well, the smell is largely dissipated now, but just keep in mind that it gets pretty smelly when you're doing this. So you want to go ahead and open up a window or just, or I just had a fan going. Oh, great. But yeah, it, it gets, it gets pretty, it gets pretty special smelling. All right, so you see this one right here. Shiny. This, well, this guy has had a lot of glue in it. So I'm gonna have to go back and with something and just get all that out. But you see the nice foam finish is still intact. Shiny. And this guy right here, you see, was really bad. But, Ugh, hard to see. Not, oh, wait, now I see it on camera. Yeah, but peel, now all the viewers can see what's going on. Yeah, that feels way nicely. And the foam in both of these tires was pretty well destroyed, too. Whoa, so these, how hard were you on these poor tires? So these tires I bought off eBay, and they were, let's just say they were well loved before I got them. So I can't take the, all the foam for this. So you can't blame eBay for this. Basically. Well, you can't blame me. All right, so here we go. Wow. So now what are we going to do? So now I'm going to have to go back, and I'm going to have to clean out the bead on these tires because they have so much glue in them. Uh, but I can clean this up, and then I can go ahead and mount the new wheels on there. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. These are going to the great recycling bin in the sky. So this is Our House 21. And Robin. Signing out. Remember the mantra, fly, fix, fly. Break it, fix it, and do it all over again. And next time you see these rims, they'll have nice new shiny rubber on them and we'll be trying to beat the snot out of them again. All right, guys. Our house 21 signing out. Peace. Keep on smiling.